In this video, we'll learn to select and calibrate an input source in Smart SPL. To begin with, we're going to open the config menu and choose input config. Now, the top table in this window shows all of the I.O. devices that are connected to the computer, powered on, and recognized by the operating system. In previous versions of Smart, the device would have to be connected and recognized before Smart was launched in order for it to show up here. However, version 9 adds the ability for plug-and-play devices. So if your device doesn't show up here, you can connect it, and once it is recognized by the operating system, it will populate in this table. Today I'm going to be using the Audient device, so I'm going to click the Use checkbox. When I do that, it populates the second table down here, which shows all of the input channels on this device. Now today, for my work, I'm going to simply use a single channel. I'm going to use Mic Line 4. And before I close this dialog, I'm going to give it a friendly name so I can recognize that input as everywhere else that it shows up in the program. Once I press Enter to set the name, we can see that the calibration offset for that input is a value of zero. In other words, it's not calibrated and so it cannot be yet be used to produce SPL data. So now we need to calibrate our input. I'm going to select the desired input and click the Calibrate button. This brings up the Amplitude Calibration dialog. Again, at the top of the window, I have the ability to choose the device and input channel that I want to use. And then I can see the current offset, which is zero. I can see a level meter and a calibrate button. Turn on your sound level calibrator and carefully fit it over your measurement microphone, using the proper coupler diameter for your measurement microphone and ensuring a proper seal. Next, we need to adjust the preamp gain to establish the desired amount of headroom. For concert level signals, we recommend being able to accommodate a maximum sound level of at least 135 to 140 dB. Since my target for today's measurement session is 140 dB, and this calibrator is producing a level of 110 dB, I need to adjust my preamp to allow 30 dB of headroom over this 110 dB tone. Now that my gain is set, I'm going to click the Calibrate button. Be sure to keep the microphone quiet and still while the calibration process runs. Next, I'm going to enter the level produced by the calibrator, in this case, 110 dB, into the field, and then hit Enter. The resulting offset value represents the highest sound level that this configuration can measure without overloading the analog-to-digital converter. Now that I've calibrated an input, I'm ready to begin working with SPL measurements in SMART.